the nothing phone one. What's it been like after this four or five months I've had it? It has been solid and uh, I filmed all the videos on it, um, the back of the phone, the glyph lights and the way it interacts with you during the day, you find yourself leaving it down on a table on silent mode and then it alerts you a couple of flashes. Um, things I've done, I've taken the factory installed screen protector off and fitted a <laughs> iPhone 14 plus screen protector on it, a glass tempered, fits perfectly, uh, got a case for it and uh, obviously it's transparent so your full glyph uh, lights work, been using the lights as well for filming, uh, it's been really good. The Android uh, OS has had a couple of updates. It's um, fluid, a wee bit quirky, drop down menus, etc. are a wee bit different than stock, but obviously that's nothing. And their branded little icons and everything, it, 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 it's amazing. Um, on a day-to-day -day basis, the battery life and everything's got so much better. So I've just enjoyed this phone. It's been tremendous. Right, a wee bit more information. Um, I'm filming this on the Nothing Phone 1. So you know that I've been into tech for <laughs> ages. <laughs> Throwback here, look at this. So I'm going to get some information up about the Nothing Phone 1 whilst I'm talking about it on a BlackBerry Z30. <laughs> Honestly, for those of you, uh, this is just a wee side note on the whole nothing one phone experience. This is about as close a uh, personalized and unique kind of feel device as the nothing phone one. When you pull out a BlackBerry back in the day, even now, and you start using a BlackBerry, the key one, the passport, the Z30. People just take a second look and that's what happens with a nothing phone. The glyph interface, everything like that. Um, the lights, you find yourself, like I say, using the phone on silent or vibrate and laying it face down on the table when you're outside because you get a flip flashes to let you know what's going on. You don't need to be, I mean, there's one thing I'll say about uh, nothing. And our London-based company, uh, one of the chief engineers um, was from OnePlus, and he left Carl Pye, who's only 32, so he's got this startup company from London. And this is his first real foray into the uh, smartphone market. Uh, he's absolutely nailed it. I I've not got anything negative to say about the nothing phone one, apart from... The stock ringtones, I know, I know you've got to make them unique because like, you know, you want to draw attention to the phone and that. Let's just put it this way. Imagine for one minute, you've been in to Costa or Starbucks, other coffee shops are available, and you've sat down and had 50 shots of a coffee. Like, <laughs> that is like the equivalent of the nothing phone one ringtones. To say they're abrupt and rather piercing is the understatement of the decade. Like, these ringtones are like on crack. <laughs> they used to call a Blackberry, back in the day, a crackberry. Well, I'll tell you this much. He's gone full out on the ringtones. I mean, you know, you've got to do something to brand the phone, obviously. He's got the glyphs on the, the back. Uh, that's the only thing. That I did. I, 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 I had to switch off the red toads because uh, they were... I just put my own ones on. Um, I, they, they were just too 
even when I lowered the volume on them. Uh, well, I mean, they're great. They do definitely get your attention. But uh, it's like, you know, full on, all or nothing ringtones. Uh, so I think they have added a few in. I'm guessing they're going to calm them down. Um, but it's amazing story. Um, they're a UK-based company. Um, it's an Android phone. It's stock, right? You know me. I like my stock. Uh, it's, you couldn't get more stock. There's a couple of widgets that are nothing based. You can tell them because they're all got the little dots. Um, it was a startup company. They raised more than $144 million in funding to develop the handset. And they got backers, um, including iPhone designer Tony Fidel, YouTuber Chesney Neistat, I think I'm pronouncing that right, and the gaming channel Twitch co-founder Kevin Lynn. So they've had a real sort of solid backdrop on this. And there's rumours abound about the Nothing Phone 2 coming out. The dual cameras on the back, tremendous. I film everything with it. Filming off the front camera just now. Um, obviously, huge challenges for any phone manufacturer breaking into the market because, let's be honest, right? Um, that was what was so unique and still is unique. Uh, Blackberry, sadly, have uh, defunct. Why am I talking about the nothing phone and Blackberry? Why am I comparing the two? Software-wise and power-wise, a nothing phone just slam dunks the BlackBerry. But back in the day, if these two companies were side by side, they've both got this appeal, this handset feel, this uniqueness, this kind of like pull out the pocket and folk go, what the heck is that? And then like, you know, after you start using it, it's so functional, you know? And like, it does everything it says it's going to do, but it's got style, personality and panache something you can't say about 90 percent of the phones out there and i know the criticism on the nothing phone is that it looks like an iphone 14 plus but if you put them side by side tell you go like that oh <laughs> i mean but there's nothing wrong with that um imitate to perfect yourself or whatever that comment is um but it's Android, and it's Android done well. It's Android done fluidly, cleanly, no bloatware. We are talking, I mean, you start up the nothing phone one, right? And you actually get in there and swipe it open, you know? You've got your fingerprint, and you, you count the amount of apps in there. It's like the minimum amount of apps possible that you would need to run a phone. So then after that, you can add in what you want. Brilliant. It's, what, it's how phones should be. Um, I've not got anything more to say about it. As you know, nothing are supporting the channel, right? They, hand, they handed me the handset for nothing to film all my vlogs, all my content. So you could say that um, I'm slightly biased, and I'm not saying, uh, you know, that I think of this review, this whole thing has been very unbiased the fact of the matter is it's a it's a great device i can't i've got nothing to moan about apart from the ringtones it's like i can't you know it's like like i say it's like <laughs> ringtones on like 60 cups of foaming coffee you know it's like <laughs> um but everything else is absolutely like on the ball and this is only the first attempt i can't wait to see the second one because you know it's uh it's but it's like it's like when you do your first album, everybody raves about it, right? And then you do the second album, right? And everybody's like waiting for it in anticipation, you know? Like uh, it was with Kasabian and the, the bands like that. And they always say the third album is the tricky one. So, you know, but this guy's got previous with one plus and, and that as well. So um the in hand feel of it as well. It just obviously fits in the hand, a bit like how this BlackBerry fits in the hand, you know. It feels comfortable to hold um, the keyboard as well. The haptics, everything is like, it's a great phone. Um, so that's been it. That's 
been my experience so far with the Nothing Phone One. I just thought I'd drop this in because obviously the support in the channel and uh, first real uh, big company ever to come out uh, and give me any uh, support. And it's very much appreciated and, and welcome. And uh, if you haven't tried a Nothing Phone One, uh, give it a give it a give it a look, give it a try. I think the only place that I know of, correct me if I'm wrong, but you can get a hands-on with it in um, O2. O2 stores, I'm pretty sure, stock it. So you can actually get a hands-on um, with it in there. And uh, you'll see what I'm on about. Everything's like, and like I said in the in the preview bit, the only thing I had to do with it, I had to get a case, and I took the pre-installed screen protector off, and I actually fitted a genuine tempered glass Apple i14 screen protector on. Fits absolutely perfect, and I mean like a glove. <laughs> so, you know, it's great that the kind of like. If you think about it, like, there's nothing worse than buying a phone, right? And then hunting high, low and everywhere for a screen protector. That's just a basic thing. Because it's not a big brand or that, because it's not this, that and the next thing, nobody's got one. And you can't get one anywhere. And maybe you will, but you have to special order it from goodness knows where. And it costs blinking 20, 30 quid for a screen protector. And you can get a genuine Apple one for like a fiver and just slap it on there. So that's off. He never never intended that, but uh, brilliant. Oh, I can say, audios on the camera, the camera visuals, the editing I've done on it. I mean, I have tested this thing with every video and edited it on the phone through InShot. Never heated up, never overheated. Uh, I've played Call of Duty for a good half hour, forty minutes, before I got like sniped and stuff like that. Again, tepid warm, if anything, never gets like strained, never loses signal when I'm out and about, connects to Bluetooth, connects to the car, does everything a, a good solid phone should. So, like I say, catch up because nothing supports the channel. It's rather ironic. I've said that a lot, but you know, uh, <laughs> you guys that have been here from the start know what I'm on about. And, uh, Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video.